A new NVIDIA driver just dropped, version 581.42. The last one, 581.29, was focused on getting Borderlands 4 and Dying Light to even run. So the big question is, does this new driver finally fix the stuttering mess in our favorite games, or is it just another download? I have benchmarked it, and I have dug through the official change log and community feedback. Let's get into it. First, the good news. This is a big bug fix patch. If you play Battlefield 2042, this driver specifically targets and fixes the GPU crashing issues many of you have been reporting. Forza Horizon 4 players on RTX 50 series cards, the annoying light flickering is officially fixed. The patch also crushes some crashes in Planet Coaster 2, and importantly for us benchmarkers, it fixes the major FPS drops when using smooth motion with a Riva Tuner frame rate cap. These are solid, targeted fixes that address real problems. But before we continue, if you want to see the same detailed tests for other new drivers in the future, please subscribe to my channel, Crowner. Thank you. Now for the bad news. What is not in the changelog? A magic bullet for Unreal Engine 5. Nvidia's notes do not mention any specific fixes for the stuttering and crashing issues in games like Silent Hill F or Borderlands 4. The community feedback confirms this. While the major freezes from older drivers are gone. The fundamental micro stutter from shader compilation and asset streaming in UE5 titles remains. This driver will not miraculously smooth out those games. For Silent Hill F, some players are still recommending rolling back to driver 580.88 for a completely crash-free experience. So, what's the final verdict on driver 581.42? If you play Battlefield, Forza Horizon 4, or use RivaTuner, this is an essential upgrade. It's a stability patch that delivers on its promises. But if you were hoping this would be the patch that finally tames Unreal Engine 5 on your RTX 5070, you're out of luck. The core issues are still there. It's a step in the right direction, but NVIDIA and game developers still have a lot of work to do. 